Hi everyone and welcome to video number two in our series on fundamental computer skills. This session we are looking at how to easily open, close and switch between multiple computer programs. Sometimes you'll need to have two or three or even more programs open at a time for different reasons and you need to switch back and forth between them. This is all about teaching you how to do that and why you might need to. So first of all I'd like to open up Microsoft Word. The first thing I'm going to do is bring my mouse down here to the bottom left hand corner, click on the start icon, and you can see that my menu pops up. Now I can either click on Microsoft Word because it appears in my start menu, or down here in the search box I can type in Word and it will bring it up the top and I can click on that. So let's open up Microsoft Word. For this video, we're going to pretend that I'm doing some research about Australia. So I want to go to Wikipedia, because that is a great starting place for research. And you can see here I've got Wikipedia open. Uh, this is a modern version called Wikiwand. It's the exact same information. And you can see here it says from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. So I want to learn about Australia. And you can see that to switch programs just then, I brought my mouse down here to my start menu bar, I clicked on my Google Chrome icon, selected the program that I wanted. So that's one method. If I want to switch back to Microsoft Word now, all I need to do is click on the Microsoft Word icon and that takes me straight back to Microsoft Word. There is another technique that is very handy when you have lots of programs open and you know that the program that you want to switch to was the one that you were just in. It's called Alt-Tab. Now to learn more about that, let's have a look at an image of a keyboard. Just here you can see an image of a standard keyboard for a desktop computer. If you have a look where the mouse is here, you can see a key labelled Alt. If you have a look at the keyboard in front of you, if you're at a desktop computer, you can see it there right next to the spacebar on the bottom row. That's called the Alt key. The next button, that, the next key that is important is the tab key. The tab key is on the very left hand side, is above the caps lock and to the left of the Q. Now that's for a desktop computer. If you're on one of these school laptops, the keyboard looks a little bit different. I've managed to find an image of what the, that keyboard looks like and this is it here. The, now the text on the keys is a little bit blurry, but alt tab are in the same positions on these school laptops as they are on a normal desktop computer. You can see the Alt, the alt key down here next to the spacebar and you can see the tab key up here above the caps lock and to the left of the Q button. So this is called Alt Tab. So what we are going to do, I'm going to press and hold the Alt button and then press once the Tab button. If I leave my thumb holding down the Alt, the Alt key, this image here pops up. This is everything that I have open at the moment, and it allows me to jump between programs. Now, at the moment, you can see that there's a box around one of my Google Chrome icons. If I press the Tab key again, you can see the box changes to the next icon, which is Microsoft Word, and Microsoft Word appears on my screen. If I press it again, it goes to the next one in the row. This is the computer program that I use to edit these videos. If I press it again, my desktop appears. If I press it again, it goes to the program that is actually recording this and you won't see that because it's on my second monitor. If I press it again, it goes back to Wikipedia. So that's called Alt-Tab. So I've got Wikipedia open here uh, on the Australia entry. Now I want to find out about the Australian government. So I'll bring up the Australian government section. Now I don't have very much time at the moment, it's only a few minutes until the bell goes. So what I'm going to do to start out is I'm going to copy the section of text that I want, right click, copy, I will alt tab until I get back to Microsoft Word and then I will paste and that pastes the information in. So that's how I can switch very easily between different programs. 
again, let's review that. I'll bring up the images of the keyboard. If I press and hold the Alt key, just down here next to the spacebar, and then if I press once, the Tab key. And again, back and forth. This is very useful for when you know that the program you want to switch to was the previous program that you were, you were in. It's also very useful if you know the order in which the programs will appear on your list. So if I press Alt, Tab, Tab, it takes me back to another program. And as you practice more and more with this technique, you'll get more comfortable with it. It's very easy to use. It's very quick, but that is how to Alt, Tab. Being able to have multiple programs open on a computer and being able to switch back and forth between those programs freely is a very useful skill. But you need to be aware that if you have too many programs open at any one time, your computer's performance may suffer. What will happen is because you have programs open, each of those programs require a certain amount of the computer's resources to have open. If you have too many programs open at any one time, too much of the computer is tied up in keeping those programs open and is then not able to let you do the things that you want to do. The computer will run slower. Let me say that again. If you have too many programs that are open at any one time, your computer will be slow. This can be very frustrating and the number of programs open that affects a computer to make it slow so that you can tell that it's being affected differs from computer to computer. Some of the school computers, as you well know, are quite slow and some of them are quite fast. The slow computers struggle to have one program open. The fast computers can handle comfortably two or three different programs. And you can see from my toolbar at the moment that I've got four or five programs open. Plus, I'm also recording the image that you're seeing and recording my voice. And my computer's handling that okay. But be aware, on different computers, if you have too many programs that are open, it will make the computer run slower. That's all for now, and we'll see you again in the next video.